Now, this illustration deals with locked service overcurrent devices in accordance with 230.92. Now, uh, do you remember in reviewing this uh, chapter 6 that we showed a, uh, a service disconnect, as you see in this figure, where we said that we could have the uh, service uh, protective overcurrent devices such as fuses or a breaker installed outside the building and we could supply overcurrent devices inside the building of a lower rating than the rating of the uh, fuses that were in the service equipment outside the building or circuit breaker. Now we said yes uh, the only ones that would have to be readily accessible, and we're speaking of fuses or overcurrent device, would be in the panel board that you see to the right. Uh, and of course, they definitely would have to comply uh, with 230.92, 240.24a, and 404.8a. But the service equipment that you see locked with a weather head and the meter uh, supplying that particular switch it could be locked in the uh, closed position, supplying continuous power. Then that way no one could uh, uh, get uh, uh, mad or uh, get unhappy with the owner of facility and go out there and disconnect power to that facility. So what this 230.92 does, it works in conjunction with the rules of 240.24a that says those fuses do not have to be readily accessible in the service equipment that is locked, but they do have to be readily accessible to the user in the sub-panel that's located inside the facility. And so the disconnecting means for the service is not considered readily accessible by 230.24. 92, and that's what this figure 6-49 is illustrating.